In the battle sequence of naval ships, amphibious assault ships are large-scale main battle equipment second only to aircraft carriers. They have always been favored by military powers led by the United States, and have even become an indispensable combat force in modern naval amphibious operations. The US Navy is equipped with nine amphibious assault ships and plans to build 11 US-class amphibious assault ships. While Japan, South Korea and Australia around China are also vigorously developing amphibious assault ships. Today, China's number of amphibious assault ships is second only to that of the United States, and three Type 075 amphibious assault ships have been commissioned into the Chinese Navy. Line 4 of the Type 075 amphibious assault ship is also under intensive construction. The Type 075 amphibious assault ship fills the gap in the formation of naval ships, and thus China's amphibious operations are truly transformed into amphibious landings. In view of the situation along the southeast coast of China, its entry into the Navy is no less meaningful than that of the Liaoning aircraft carrier. According to the official data, the Type 075 has a height of 15 floors, plus its displacement of 40,000 tons, so its internal space must not be small. In the extreme case, it can carry 30 helicopters. Of course, in this case, the dispatch efficiency it will be greatly reduced. And under normal circumstances, it will carry 20 helicopters. The Golden Eagle 500 a unmanned helicopter with increasingly mature technology and increasingly complete supporting load will fully demonstrate its collaborative and independent combat capabilities. The Golden Eagle 150B Swarm Drone will mount multiple types of mission loads to demonstrate its swarm combat capability. Isn't it good for the Type 075 amphibious assault ship to be equipped with 40 Golden Eagle CR-500 UAVs? These drones form a swarm, which is sufficient for amphibious landing operations. Moreover, the Golden Eagle CR-500 UAV is currently in service and has attempted amphibious landing operations. Not long ago, CCTV News Military reported on the 73rd Army's Amphibious Warfare Cross-Sea Training Exercise. During the exercise, the Golden Eagle CR-500 Inspection and Combat Unmanned Helicopter appeared. The Golden Eagle CR-500 UAV is China's first active duty. CR-500 Golden Eagle Unmanned Helicopter is an unmanned combat platform developed by China North Industries Group based on combat requirements. The rotor and aerodynamic design are similar to those of the Russian Ka-52 helicopter. It adopts a coaxial anti-propeller double rotor structure. The tail wing is eliminated. And the overall size of the aircraft is very compact. Which is very suitable for amphibious operations. As well as for use on small spaces and naval ships. We know that in a helicopter with a normal layout, when the main rotor is rotating at a high speed, the body of the helicopter will also rotate together under the action of the rotor torque. In order to overcome this problem, the conventional layout of a single rotor helicopter must be equipped with a tail rotor at the tail. The tail rotor rotates in the opposite direction to offset the rotating moment of the fuselage, thereby maintaining balance. The upper and lower blades rotate in opposite directions, one rotating clockwise and the other counterclockwise, which directly offsets the rotational torque of the rotor. The coaxial twin rotor does not need to consider the design of the tail rotor and the tail beam, and there is no problem of the tail rotor eating the engine power. All power can be used for lift and propulsion. Therefore, the fuselage of the coaxial twin rotor helicopter can be made very short, less affected by the crosswind, more stable flight, better hovering performance, which is very important for the flight performance of the unmanned helicopter. The Golden Eagle CR-500 unmanned helicopter with a coaxial anti-propeller and tailless structure layout has a small diameter and a compact overall structure. It has the potential to be on the ship. On this basis, a ship-based armed unmanned helicopter can be developed. The two main tasks of the Golden Eagle CR-500 unmanned helicopter are reconnaissance and strike. A very conspicuous photoelectric turret is installed under the nose. There are three equipment windows on this photoelectric turret, a white light camera system, an infrared thermal image night vision system, and a laser ranging and a radiation fire control system. These three systems give the Golden Eagle CR-500 unmanned helicopter an all-weather reconnaissance capability. 
The appearance of the Golden Eagle CR-500 unmanned helicopter is like a fat-headed fish with its tail removed. It adopts a special wing body and short wing design. The fuselage is integrated, and the internal space of the fuselage is increased at the wing body fusion, which can accommodate more fuel and equipment. A similar design is also used on the Chinese WZ-10 helicopter. In addition to the task of covered reconnaissance, in terms of weapon mounting, the Golden Eagle CR-500 UAV is characterized by its extremely powerful mounting capacity. It can carry eight missiles with a takeoff weight of 500 kilograms, and the two-sided pylons can carry up to eight missiles. Carrying four Blue Sword 9 air-to-surface missiles or eight Blue Sword 8 air-to-surface missiles, the firepower is very fierce, and it is about to catch up with the Z-10 gunship. The Golden Eagle CR-500 UAV can also be connected to the anti-jamming confidential data link for networking, which is very suitable for the newly emerging swarm tactics. The Golden Eagle CR-500 unmanned helicopter has unparalleled superiority in ground attack and anti-tank operations. It can eliminate enemy fortifications and armored groups more conceal edly than manned gunships. Assume that two Marine Corps UAV companies, loaded with off-road vehicles with 40 compact unmanned assault helicopters, can be easily deployed on amphibious assault ships, and they can be released or recovered on the ship, or from amphibious assault ships. The ship is deployed to the beachhead. This UAV can control a battlefield with a radius of 300 kilometers. It can launch 160 Blue Sword 9 anti-tank missiles or 320 Blue Arrow 5 missiles in a single operation. It can also destroy a foreign armored division at half the probability of damage. Half or more than one-third of tanks and armored vehicles. According to the combat theory of modern warfare, a fully loaded army armored division loses more than one-third of its main combat weapon in a single firefight, then it can be judged that the battle has failed. As the saying goes, it is maimed and the entire division has been lost. The combat capability needs to be regained after being gathered together to fight again. The Golden Eagle CR-500 unmanned helicopter, a locust-like air-to-ground attack, will make the enemy impossible to guard against. With such fierce firepower, the ground strike capability is no inferior to the Russian Ka-52K gunship.